Ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin J. Marconi, the International Master Counselor of the Order of the Himalaya. Thank you so much, Bastille. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> my brothers, and I do say my brothers because I am a proud Master Mason of Windsor Lodge, number 181, located in California. I cannot explain how wonderful it is to share the fellowship here in Washington, D.C. and hear the success stories of how our fraternity as a whole is improving. Just as all the steps in Freemasonry begin in the Blue Lodge, do the saplings of Masonry begin with the seed sown as Demolays. We are building Freemasonry through Demolay this year, and I can assure you that we Demolays grow up and join Scottish Rite Valleys and Masonic Lodges. We owe so much to you the original Masonic body who gave us our initial hope. Frank S. Land was only 28 years old, only seven years older than myself, when he met Louis Flower and decided that there was a future to be had in Masonic youth fraternity for young men. When we were founded, it was on the foundations of your lessons and principles. Principles and lessons that were not only common in that time, but demanded. Principles such as honor, justice, and patriotism. In this day and age, it is all too common to see stories in the news about the misdeeds and corruption of youth. But you don't hear about the great things that the Masonic Youth Orders are doing, and that needs to change. Demolay is so vitally needed in this time and age for youth, just as Freemasonry is to those who have taken charge of the well-being of our country. If more of our political leaders we're Masonic. We may not have some of the corruption that occurs. Would you not agree, my brothers? <laughs> now, it was Benjamin Franklin, a Mason, who said, There was never truly a great man who was not also truly virtuous. And those are the virtues that are taught in the Masonic Lodge and Scottish Rite Valleys. These are the virtues that each and every one of you embody in your daily life. Now, if I were to mention Demolay's greatest opportunity, it would be that we need better advisors, more advisors, the great men that Franklin speaks of, the great men that are you. The time spent will certainly pay back tenfold as I am evidence. I represent the countless young men who are on the same path as myself to improve our character through love of our country, love of our parents, and most importantly, love of our chosen God. So that when we grow up, we may be fit to join a Masonic Lodge and learn more of the knowledge that will protect us on the circuitous path of manhood. Now I think about our mission, our task as the Malays. And when I think about that, I am reminded of the words of Dad Land himself, a Scottish Rite Mason. He was asked to speak before a group, and he relayed to them the story of those who used to travel a harrowing path to get into Southern California. This path would take them through Arizona, and along a particularly poorly marked path, there was a miner who took it as his duty, his task, to set a light on a landmark <coughs> to help guide travelers who had, have been or may have been led astray. DLA's mission is to set a light on the lamppost of their community. A thousand lights across the hills of the nation, shining brightly with the light of DLA to protect us on our path to manhood. With the Right Care Learning Centers, you help in a way that cannot be easily quantified, but is so greatly needed. The remediation that helps individuals to become so much more beneficial to society now, as I said before, DMLA's greatest opportunity to succeed would be if we were to gain more advisors so that we could be so much more beneficial to society. The demand we feel today for these individuals will only be surpassed by tomorrow's demand, and tomorrow for the next days. As members of the Masonic family, we are at a crossroads, and the choices we make today will count for generations to come. I believe President John F. Kennedy described this crossroads the best when he said, 
Never before has man had such a great capacity to control his environment, to end hunger, poverty, and disease, to banish illiteracy and massive human misery. We have the power to make the best generation of mankind in the history of the world. So I submit to you, how do we make the best history that mankind has ever seen? With delay. Demolays are the future leaders of America and our Masonic fraternities, as evidenced by both Dad McNaughton and Dad Seal. The time may come when I may no longer be recognized as an active demolay. It draws nearer and nearer with each passing moment. With this in mind, I have realized that I may boast something that few men can see. I see before me now a family. My family, made up of individuals who will leave nothing behind to ensure that my brothers may never fail as a leader or as a man. While no words could express my gratitude for this, I must make one final request. I make this request not as the International Master Counselor, not as a Master Mason, not as an active team lay, but rather as a young man who one day will have a family of his own. I ask that each and every one of you do whatever it takes to ensure that there are Masonic youth fraternities and sororities for my children to join, so that one day I may sit where you sit right now and watch my son or daughter address a crowd such as you have today. Now as you leave this place returning to your own valleys, jobs, and homes, Never, ever forget that a boy is still the only thing that God can use to make a man. A man that will one day join a Masonic Lodge or Scottish Rite Valley. A man that may one day take charge of this country as the president. Thank you for your time to represent the Order of DLA, whose impact is equal to the hope you have given us. God bless you, God bless Scottish Rite, and God bless the world's greatest fraternity for young men. DLA.